cup of coffee, pen and paper, and let's dive in. Hey mama, if you are looking for tips and tricks to get healthy, save money, and feel better, join us in my free Facebook community. This is the place to connect, learn, and share with other mamas on their health journey just like you. Join the Prepared for Wellness Facebook community and get in on the fun. See you there. Busy Mama, are you overwhelmed trying to get healthy and eliminate chronic pain for good? Does being a busy mom leave you exhausted so you put your health goals on the back burner? Have you given up on every diet and exercise program leading you right back to your unhealthy habits? Hi friend, I'm Ashley Cavolo, a busy working mom who struggled to manage debilitating chronic pain. I desperately wanted to feel better and be the best mom that I could be, but I didn't know how to start and had nowhere to turn. Until the day, I decided the pain would no longer control my life. I discovered health and wellness can be simple, maintainable, and heal chronic pain. In this podcast, I will share tips and strategies to help you instill healthy habits, find more energy, and manage your chronic pain. Grab your notebook, that cup of matcha, and get ready to look at getting healthy in a whole new way. Welcome back, my friends. So I love this topic. We are talking about three ingredients that are highly inflammatory that are hidden in most foods. And I love this topic so much because there are so many people who do not realize that these highly inflammatory ingredients may be the cause for their unrelenting inflammation. And simply being aware of these ingredients and eliminating them out of your diet can make an incredible difference in your well being on a daily basis. So, if you are struggling with autoimmune symptoms, skin rashes, digestion problems, uh, joint pain, inflammation, fatigue, this could be the culprit to some of what you're experiencing. So, I highly recommend listening closely to this episode, making some notes, checking out the links that I provide in the show notes. My hope is this truly helps you and makes a difference. I know it made a world of a difference for me, my health, and my well-being on a daily basis. I hope you're ready to dive into these three highly inflammatory ingredients. I know I am. And those ingredients are refined oils, nitrates, and preservatives, which have been used in food manufacturing for decades. And the purpose is to produce high volumes at a low cost. Food manufacturing was born during the Depression. This was when food subsidization was created to provide affordable food to the public. But unfortunately, the use of toxic ingredients and processes in food manufacturing has increased over time. And with the addition of preservatives, emulsifiers, GMO ingredients, and pesticides, it's just everywhere. These ingredients are found in products all over the grocery store shelves, in restaurants, even in medications. So we're going to dive in to find out what those three ingredients are. I avoid them at all costs, and I'm going to give you some real-life food comparisons of some of the most popular foods on the shelves and give you some alternative options so you will know what to look for when you go shopping. So number one on this list is refined oils. And I have talked about my experience with refined oils. Um, In my past, I went to a local burger shop, unknowingly ate an entire meal that was cooked with peanut oil and had a three-day horrifying flare-up. So this one is a big one for me. So processed oils are one of the highest inflammatory ingredients out there. It is in just about every food product in the grocery store, restaurants, medications. They can be found in foods from salad dressing to crackers and even that popular almond milk that you might be drinking. That was surprising to me once I became aware of this. It is very difficult to find a food product without processed oils as manufacturers focus 
on high production volume and low cost ingredients to make the most profit. So what is the best way to protect your health from these oils? It truly is about being diligent in checking labels for the following oils. This list is quite long, so prepare yourself. Canola oil, also called rapeseed oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, grapeseed oil, palm oil, peanut oil, rice bran flour, safflower oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil. So a really simple alternative is to look for products made with avocado oil, coconut oil, or olive oil. So here is a challenge for you. Choose a salad dressing, cracker, and chip in your kitchen and check the ingredient labels. You will most likely find at least one refined oil in the ingredients list. The simple fix is to choose your products wisely. So here is a great example. Tostitos tortilla chips, we all know them, we love them, we go to parties and we eat them. But did you know the ingredients include a vegetable oil blend? So not one oil, but a blend of corn oil, canola oil, and sunflower oil. So you're getting three oils in one chip. And just a fun fact, I happened to pick a bag of chips at my local co-op. One day we were going to barbecue. I had some on the side with my grilled chicken. And sure enough, the next day, because I didn't read the ingredient labels, I had a flare up. I checked the ingredients list and it had sunflower and safflower oil in the ingredients. So I banned that brand of chips from my house and I have found alternatives. So what is the alternative to say a Tostito tortilla chip? My favorite brand is called Siete and they have tortilla chips made with olive oil. You can find them everywhere. I've seen them at Target. My local grocery store Thrive Market has them as well. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, so I have tagged a link to these chips and all the other suggested alternatives I'm sharing in this episode. So be sure to check those out. And if you're interested in oils, check out my blog post from September 7th and episode 49 of this podcast where I take a deep dive into oils. It's very interesting. So the next ingredient on the list is nitrates and nitrites. Nitrates and nitrites are highly inflammatory preservatives used in food manufacturing to prevent bacteria growth and extend the shelf life of meat products. And another fun fact, it is also used to make meat products more appealing to consumers by giving it that lovely pink color and a richer flavor. So the most common foods that contain nitrites and nitrates are lunch meat, bacon, ham, sausage, hot dogs, pepperoni, and meat sticks. So instead of using conventional options, choose products that are labeled as nitrate and nitrate free. So here are a few of my favorite brands of um, nitrate and nitrate free products. North Country Uncured Bacon, Applegate Hot Dogs, Applegate Oven Roasted Turkey Breast, and Applegate Uncured Pepperoni. There are many other brands that offer uncured options. You just have to read the labels and make the right choice. So next on the list is toxic ingredients. Food manufacturing is increasingly adding preservatives, dyes, and emulsifiers to food to make the production process easier and to make food products more appealing to consumers. But despite the studies proving the detrimental effects of these ingredients, manufacturers are not being regulated to limit them. So this leaves consumers like you and me to take the responsibility of being aware and educated when it comes to what is in our food. So you truly just need to check food labels for ingredients that are not recognizable as a real food. So here are some of those processed ingredients. Maltodextrin, monocytium glutamate, I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Food dyes, TBHQ. I'm not even going to pronounce that one, but it will be on my blog if you want to check it out. Propyl, paraben, titanium dioxide, potassium bromate, disodium inosinate, and disodium guanolate. So this is just to name a few. There are so many unrecognizable ingredients out there. So instead, look for ingredients you recognize as real 
food. And the shorter the ingredients list, the better. So here are my recommendations for a few clean snack products. Mary's Bee Gone Seed Crackers, Lesser Evil Popcorn, and Larissa's Kitchen Beef Sticks and Beef Jerky. These are all delicious. I have them in my pantry as we speak. My family loves them and they are full of just clean ingredients that you recognize. And it's really as simple as that. So the takeaway here is check food labels for nitrates, nitrites, refined oils, and food ingredients that are not real foods. Choose brands that are nitrate and nitrate free, that have real food ingredients, and use only olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado oil in the ingredients. Excellent sources for these foods are Thrive Market. You can find many of these products in your local grocery stores, Target, Amazon. In my coaching program, I actually offer a complete shopping guide of common foods and healthy swaps so you can confidently shop for healthy foods. So check out my services page for details regarding coaching packages. A free 15-minute discovery call is a great place to start. So I hope this episode inspired you and shed some light on why you may still be struggling with inflammation, even though you are doing all of the right things. I'll catch you next week. Thanks for listening. Hey friend, I hope this episode helped you in your health journey. If you are inspired or motivated, please leave a five-star rating and written review in Apple Podcasts, or please share it with another mama who would be blessed by it. I'm off to make another matcha and whip up a healthy snack. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you next Thursday.